Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's 2 Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at a few different ways to rotate objects to a specific angle or to rotate to align objects. Uh, this will work for text, uh, lines, polygons, blocks, anything you can select and rotate within AutoCAD and it's going to make your life a lot easier. Before we jump into the video, I wanted to remind you guys that my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course is available now for instant download at the link up above or down below. It's got years of tips, tricks, and workflows packed into it that are going to speed up your drafting and general AutoCAD use. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. And it's discounted for viewers and subscribers by using those two links above and below. And I think you guys are going to get a lot out of it. Now, let's jump into today's video. So as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at two tricks when it comes to rotating objects and how to rotate them to align to something specific within AutoCAD. Now we all know the rotate command. You can access it by clicking on rotate up here on the home tab or typing RO for the quick command. And then you're going to choose an object and hit enter. It's going to ask you for a base point, And this is the point at which your object will rotate from. Uh, we're going to choose this bottom corner here and you can see in most cases you you kind of have to randomly choose or type in a specific angle. Not many people use this first one which is the reference option. So by choosing reference you're going to be able to choose a line that you want to reference and then choose where it's going to end up. I'm going to show you how that works. So we're going to choose reference. You can do that by hitting R and entering or clicking down here on the reference button. I'm going to hit R and enter and it's going to ask you for a reference angle. Now I'm going to choose the existing or original line that I want to match up with another. So I'm going to choose down here where we chose the base point and then I'm going to choose up here at the top. Now I want to align or rotate this object so that this reference line is now attached here. But you can see I can move this and it's going to move the object along that reference line. So if I want it to match up here, I simply click this corner here and now you can see it's perfectly rotated to match that line based on my reference line. You can do this the other way as well. So we'll do that one more time quickly here. Type RO, enter select your object and hit enter, choose your base point and type R for reference, hit enter, and now choose your two points to use as a reference line. I'm going to choose this bottom left corner as well as the top left corner. Now we can rotate this down so that matches up with this side. Now that can save you a ton of time rather than guessing or figuring out angles. It's going to be quick and instant. Now there's another option and that's the align command, A-L-I, GN and I've used and shown this command on the channel quite a bit for a variety of tasks but one of them is specifically rotating an object to two points. Now you have two options here so we're going to type in align and select our object. It's going to ask you when you hit enter for your first source point. So it's going to move this point to match another point. Now we can rotate this by using this so we're going to choose this first point of this lopsided triangle here and we're going to place it over here. And I want the base here to align with this blue line. So our second point that it's asking for is going to be the other corner that I would like aligned. And now I can choose this corner here. Now you can choose a third point, but you don't need to. Typically you're only going to want to use two. Hitting enter is going to ask me now if I want to scale my objects. Now you can scale to make sure something fits perfectly. I already know this flat edge is the same size and length as this edge, so I'm gonna say no. But I'll show you another example next where that will come in handy. So I'm gonna choose N or just hit enter for the default, and you're gonna see that it's aligned and matched those two points perfectly so that we've got a triangle here along this flat edge. Now we're gonna run that command again. So we're gonna type in align, and I'm going to choose this object over here. Now the first point that you choose is going to be the one that gets stuck and then it's going to rotate and 
move the object as close as it can to the two points you choose. But if you say no to the scale, you're going to see that it's just simply going to move and rotate your object exactly where you'd like based on the first point. So for our first point, we're going to choose this left upper corner, and we're going to put that right here. Now for our second point, we're going to choose this corner, and we're just going to leave it here. So you can probably guess what this is going to do, but it's going to rotate this around, and it's going to put this corner here, here, and it's going to rotate this flat edge to match this edge here, but it's not going to reach this side because it's short. Now hitting enter and then enter again to say no to scaling is going to move our objects. You can see it did exactly what we thought. It rotated and matched our object to the line, but it didn't scale it to fit. Now lastly, we'll just show you what it would do if we chose the yes command. So we're going to type in align, choose our object, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to hit enter. We're just going to put it on this side this time. So we'll put this point here, right here. Our second point we're going to put over here and we're going to hit enter. Now instead of saying no, we're going to type Y and hit enter for yes. And you can see that it has scaled up or enlarged our object so that it has fit perfectly along this flat edge. Now these two commands can save you a ton of time in general drafting as well as more advanced uh, design as you uh, get more familiar with the software. These kind of commands are going to save you time for all the little minute movements and scaling issues that you may run into. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all for today. Don't forget to check out my AutoCAD fundamental and workflows course. It's packed full of stuff like this, as well as more advanced workflows like XRefs and templates and settings, as well as creating a drawing from scratch and setting up layouts. All of that's covered in the course in great detail over hours of content and videos. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Again, that link is up above and down below. And thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.